Hello everyone, this is Jordi and welcome back to another episode of XCOM The Shift War. So for me, a month has passed when, from the last time I recorded videos for you. Um, because there was there were three separate uh, copyright claims on episode 12 of this ongoing series. And all three companies claimed uh, ownership of the same background music of XCOM. So yeah, I disputed all three of them and two companies immediately uh, rescinded their claim on that video in a matter of one or two days. But the third company, uh, a company by the name of Zarigama, located somewhere in India, uh, thought it might be a good idea to hold tight to their claim and took the whole 30 days, or almost 30 days, um, until it could be sorted out. So. For me, a month has passed, so it's completely new to me, almost, where I return to here. So let's see what's what's going on. I remember we had that downed medium UFO. I actually watched the last episode. I I, I admit it. I watched the last episode, so I, I, have a, I have a pretty good idea what I want to do now here at the start. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, go here to this tab. Click on alloy shivs and order me four more. What? This is not possible. Oh, insufficient funds. Oh no! But look at how how quick I built these guys. Nice. Okay, I can get that. I can get that easily. If I recall correctly, I got uh, damaged equipment from my last mission. That was an awesome mission, by the way. If you haven't seen it, go back to episode 15. Uh. We totally steamrolled that. Let me have a look here. Ah, look at oh, oh, look at how much I can sell here. This one should actually be enough already. So we don't even need to touch that other damaged equipment. Let's go here. Alloy shift. Manuf Let's do this again. Four more, please. Yes, that works. 160 alloys. That was the uh, bottleneck for us, right? The alloys. We had 159. And we needed that one extra alloy, and then we got an uh, exalt mission of all missions out there that doesn't give any alloys. Okay, submit the order. Yes, in 11 days we will have 12 alloy shifts. I'm looking forward to this. Well, uh, let me have a quick look. How many super heavy lasers do we actually have? And is it a good idea to build another one? I think we have enough plus one. We have exactly the amount that we need plus one. Yeah, we could go with another scope actually because we only have three. But then again, I want to have one, at least one special shiv that does not have the scope but heat ammo or something. Yeah, yeah. So let's not build more scopes. Although, we also need scopes on snipers because I uh, just recently discovered in the last video that um, alloy bipods uh, stack with scopes. So it might be a good idea to uh, make more alloy bi bipods and another scope. Look, the cost went down significantly. When you start out, this cost 70 bucks and now it's 45. Perfect. Takes alloys to build this and scope takes no alloys. But we need more cash, so I might have, might as well have sold the other damage stuff. So let's do it. 75 more bucks, I'll take it. <clears throat> so I I mean we will have at least uh, we will have one sniper per mission on average right so we don't need to you know go all out on alloy bipods I want to build one more though so I have always one in reserve yeah I think that seems reasonable submit the order and I want to have one more scope so that I can uh, install three on shivs and one on a sniper if a sniper comes with the shivs, right? Alrighty, so build one more uh, In five days. Yeah, do it. Nice Do I want anything else? I respirator implant was I have that uh, in my memory the respirator, impl uh, respirator implant was great um, Because of the bleed out timer and Preventing death once, right? I don't think that's good on my um, shivs. 
We have one chameleon suit, don't we? Will make our scouts harder to hit on the battlefield. Yeah, it improves the uh, lightning reflexes, right? Makes them immune to criticals from Overwatch fire, yeah. I think I want to put this on my scouts and I don't have any of these? Chameleon suits? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. So order one, please. There you go. And my money ran out. So, uh, research-wise, we are researching mutant autopsy. Okay. Oh! We have one chameleon suit coming in. Oh no! Oh no! Why am I not more observant? It should have said here. Okay, then we have two. Then we have that uh, one additional for reserve, right? In our reserve, that's good. Okay, so I think we did everything. Oh, yeah, we leveled up everyone last time. So let's just advance time. So what do they want? Cyber disc Rex, they are pretty uh, you know, worth a lot, dude. They are worth a lot. And they want three. Not just two, they want three. But they give engineers and uh, a lot of bugs. Who is asking? Mexico? Oh, we have Mexico under lockdown. With our satellites. Hmm. 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 I mean, we have um, autopsy the cyber desks. So it's not like we desperately need the wrecks. I will leave that decision for later. Continue. All right, the autopsy is ready. Ammo conservation. That's why I did that autopsy here. Very good. Very good. Um, that is an um, a foundry project that we will look up immediately. Mectoid autopsy. I want to do this eventually, but we need two more mectoid cores for that. Berserker autopsy. We need more berserker corpses. We have three and need two more. Alrighty. Alien power systems will give us uh, access to uh, pulse weaponry, I believe. Aerospace combat, uh, aerospace concepts will help with the air war, although right now we are pretty good on that. Xenopsionics, uh, I don't think we need that right now. I think I want to go deeper into this destroyer thing here for the air war. I said we are pretty good on that, but we have to keep up with the research. Otherwise, we will fall behind and then we'll go into alien power systems. It says slow, but 13 days is not that much So yeah, let's go into the destroyer Research Dr. Valen, you have something to do do it. Oh, I want to look at my layout pretty quick Uh-huh, okay. Mm-hmm I think the next thing we want to do is um, build an alien containment here so that requires a lot of excavating down here. Costs a lot. Um, um, but what can you do? What can you do? And we have the funds. We will do this. Okay, continue. The time. The chameleon suit is ready. The first one. We got three Illarium back. Okay. Lots of people coming back. I like that. Although we just need our... We need nothing else than our alloy ships. Okay, uh, destroy our research project complete! Yay! Uh, the deadly de I'll read this real quick because it's new for myself. The deadly destroyer presents a much greater threat to our aircraft than its sister class of ships. Armor piercing weapons are required to defeat this craft. It appears to primarily be used for air raids and anti satellite operations, although we may see it conduct reconnaissance missions as well. Our analysts note the presence of unused hardpoints on some images of this craft. So we should look out for upgraded versions with even more killing power. So based on our analysis, we have improved pilot... Uh, and based on our analysis, we have improved pilot training and our weapon systems to better target... Ah yeah, okay, I think I understand that sentence now. Ba based on our analysis, we have improved pilot training on our weapon systems to better target weak points on the destroyer class of alien craft. Our hits on this UFO will do additional damage going forward. We will also recover 20% more alloys and helium from salvaging these craft. Nice. So as I said, going into alien power systems now. Begin the project. Oh, I paid a lot of helium for this, right? Okay. That's fine. Okay, the alloy bipod is coming in. 
What do they want? Floater corpses? And they give us a new recruit. A corporal. Hmm. And who's asking? India. Alright, alright. I think I, I can do this. Have the 20 floater corpses. Let's see how good that dude is. That I got. Alright, let's have a look. Barracks, soldier. The one that can level up. Here, corporal. Kali Spitfire Mystery. Let's have a look. It's not a dude, it's a it's a dudress. It's a lass. Alright, so she has 68 aim. Five bait health, that's top. Although no, she's already corporal, right? So it's not it's not a recruit, okay. To judge her on based on her rank. 23 willpower only. Oh my goodness. She's not becoming a, a psy soldier. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Um, so the game offers me run and gun and light them up, so infantry or assault. I said earlier that I would like to have more assaults. Well, actually, the only the only uh, class that matters now, together with my seeing that I'm building my shift army, are really engineers. Question is, are nine engineers enough or not? Um, nine engineers. Do we need another engineer? On top of that, let me have a look at these. I don't like 12 mobility on an engineer, to be honest. They need to keep up with the shifts to throw their smokes. Not sure about that. But the same goes for assaults. Assaults need also high mobility. 12 is really disappointing on an on assault. So yeah, I, I made up my mind. It shall become an engineer. There you go. Kali Mystery, welcome to our sorry lot of engineers, so to speak. You have 8 health now. Okay, it, it was the rookie um, rank that was displayed here in the initial stats. That's fine, I know it now. Okay, 8 bait health is fantastic as a corporal. And I got one additional movement but that is uh, because I'm not wearing any armor 42 willpower still not good I would uh, hope for 50 at least okay that's fine 78 aim it's very good smoke grenade smoke and mirrors so with smoke grenade I get additional uh, um, smokes permission and smoke and mirrors let me use one additional uh, uh, support grenade her item slot. Well, there you go. That's what she can do. She's called Cordy Mystery and she's engineer uh, 10. Right. Here we have engineer 9. Yeah, I think it was Engineer 10. Although it says ni 9 Engineers up here. That's not correct. Where is Kali? Show me Kali, please. Here, Engin Engineer 10. Are we missing an Engineer? Did we, did we lose an Engineer uh, in between uh, missions? In between videos? Let me check that real quick. We have an NG2. NG6, NG7, NG9, NG10, so 8 is missing, right? From 6 on. NG3, 8 is there, 1 is there, 2 is missing, 4 is there. No, no, we had 2, we had 2. Where's NG5? Not NG, just N Engineer. Engineer 5. Did we have Engineer 5? 6, 7, 9, 10, 3, 8, 1, and 4. We don't have Engineer 5. So, <clears throat> I, I uh, sorted them by amount of uh, experience, but that did change anyway from when I did it the last time. So, let's just fill her in on Engineer 5. So, 
back to nine engineers. Nice. I, I have no idea where I lost that one engineer though. Wait, do we have 43 soldiers? Yes. It was an addition to the group though then. Okay. Okay. Let's advance time again. We are about 15 minutes in. Ah, there is our next mission. Small and scouts. Oh my goodness. It might actually be that we are going to, you know, shoot that thing down and completely kill it. Okay, let's get a kill on one of the other peoples, right? Like this one. Hoser McKinsey. Let's do it, Hoser McKinsey, with a balanced approach. Just tickle them, you know? We're Don't pursuit. apply your brute force. Don't destroy that thing. Approaching target now. Damn. Two, three, four hits, and we destroyed it. Okay. Light damage in the process. We got some some bugs on us. Um, let's use this to excavate this here. We need to do it at some point, so why not now, right? We will be um, content with 12 alloy shifts at some point, so uh, put the money into our uh, base layout. Let's get that um, uh, alien containment. Alien bipod is ready. Carry on. So, where's our next mission? Contact there you detected. go. That's a medium raider. That will be our next mission. I, I know it. I know it. Okay. So, let's uh, send out Semtex Kato um, to just, you know, bruise them a bit and then send in Rex Linner to finish them off. I hope that's how, that's how it goes. We'll see. Enemy is padlocked. padlocked. Let's do it. Closing on target. Major. One, two, three, four, Taking five. Fire. Okay, he will be. Damn it, that last hit. Was that necessary? Alright. Before we go, though, let me have a look how long you will be out. 17 days. God damn it. No, wait. That was a major. For five days. How is that possible? Hmm. Well, whatever. All right, let's start this. Let's do this. Crash side, 35 hours. Send the Sky Ranger. And as always, if we have um, shifts available to us, let's use them. This is called the shift war for a reason, guys. All righty, and A4 goes in the middle as always. Let me have a quick look if whether A4 is equipped with the heat ammo. Yep. Cool. And as always, all the ships have core armoring on them, gives them immunity to critical hits and some extra health. Uh, all four also have holo targeting on them, gives them some additional um, aim. And uh, three of them have scopes and one has heat ammo. Alrighty. So, I want to put an engineer, at one engineer at least, on that mission. Let me see how many are available. One is available. Two, three are available. Four, five. Six are available. Actually, I want to see uh, our Kali here in action. Um, also, I think I want a second engineer this time. So why don't we put uh, here Sergeant Am Eng 6 View. Yeah, all women. And I want a sniper. I could put Nokli in here as an officer. Mm, no. Let's take one of. This could be. Mm, screw it. Put Nokli in here. Alrighty. So. Uh, I have to outfit her because it's her first mission. We only have phalanx armors. That's not that's not correct. Make items available, please. That was not correct. See, we have an assortment of armor here that we can use on her. Uh, get her phalanx armor though. <coughs> that gives her gives her the best mobility. Save the castle armor. We don't need castle armor on her. Get the laser rifle. Get smokes on you, and I want an arc throw on you as well. There you go. I will give her, I think, five smoke grenades. No, four. Sorry, four. Alrighty. 
And that's why I, I'm, I want two engineers on each mission, because um, I also want to bring an arc thrower on each one of them, so that they can be cat built, so that they can repair my ships. You know, she also has the repairability, gives her more um, charges on the arc thrower. Actually, seeing that makes me want to use smoke grenades instead of an arc thrower on her. And she does not have repair on her yet. So there you go. And last but not least, the sniper. Let's outfit her real quick. She's wearing the Kestrel armor, if I see that correctly. Yep. But we don't need the Kestrel armor during a UFO mission. There, there won't be any, you know, elevated levels I would need to go to in her, with her. So why don't we give her Phalanx armor so that she has 10 health. She's a very good officer here, so I don't want to lose her. She has platform stability, good to know. Lock and load, damn good ground. Alrighty, alloy plating is... I don't know if I want to use that. I give her alloy beat bipod and we don't have another scope though. I'm building it. I could give her beam optics to boost her uh, power. More power! <laughs> But 8 health? I don't know if 8 health will do the trick here. Maybe we give her carapace armor instead. 12 mobility. And then I can give her... Uh, what was I thinking? The beam optics. Yeah. She has an aim of 101. And a mobility of 11. Should be good enough. Should be good enough. Alrighty, that's it. Launch the mission. Uh, 22 minutes in. I think um, I will cut this video in half so that this video won't be so overly long. Prepare so, um, at the 30 minutes, 35 minute mark, should be a good idea. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. It looks like the UFO went down in a densely populated area within the city limits. Let's just hope everyone on the ground stayed clear. Alrighty, Bradford. Shall do. Let's have a look. Oh, the UFO. Oh, I know this map immediately. It's a city map and the Kestrel armor would have been nice since we have elevated level Central levels here. Strike one is ready to the but where do Copy we start? This, Strike one this is, is a strange start. Reach. Oh, I think I know where we are. The UFO should be here. No? Then... I don't know. It is not here. But it looks cool to scroll outside the city limits here. Mm. Is it here then? At the end of this side? Yeah, there it is. Alrighty, then I know where I am. And I know where I am. I have to traverse through the city to get there. I think usually we start out here. So they didn't change the uh, evacuation point much, the landing zone. Let me have a look. Where do I want to put the sniper? Where would be a good position for the sniper? Up here maybe. But yeah, the, the ships can also go up there, so that might be a good idea. Or we just move through here. I, I have to um, get an idea how do I want to approach the UFO, and then I can say where do I want to go here. Well, why don't we move over here with our ships? Always onward with our ships. So we keep the ships to, uh, close to each other, as far as we can, then the humans will follow. There we go, I love my ships, they have lots of health to begin with, and then on top of that, because of our research efforts, uh, they have 9 armor right now, I love that, I love that. So we have two engineers and a sniper, right? So the engineers That's affirmative. keep up as best as they can. That's the sniper. Uh, why don't you... 
Move here. Get some cover from the shifts. Nice. Three directions. Half cover in three directions. And that sniper here. Well, why don't you Location move over here? Confirmed. You have low profile. Should be good. And that's my turn. Everyone on Overwatch? What? Oh. Roger that's that. how you do it. Scanning. Nice. Okay, I'm hearing a floater. Okay. Okay. I think I wanted to approach this level uh, as I usually do on this map when starting out in this corner, going this route down here. So that's why I'm relocating to the uh, to the left side. Uh, if the ships would get cover, they could give themselves to uh, give cover to each of them themselves. You know, uh, you know what I want to say, right? I hope so. Okay. You could you could arrange them in a square, and they would all have cover. I wonder whether this is a reason why they don't get cover. That's affirmative. Right, and the sniper. Hmm. Hmm. Moving Moves over to position. Here. Get your steady weapon and everyone else go on all. I feel commander. Aha, floaters in this direction, okay. Move here. Does this look familiar to you? It does not. Maybe they made uh, a trick that they placed the UFO somewhere else. I feel like I'm fight. I fought. I fought the UFO from this building here, being in the UFO being here. Am I completely out of my mind saying this? I think they replaced the UFO or moved the UFO. Not sure though. Not sure though. Okay. Uh, that shift doesn't see anything. Okay. Next shift. A1. Move over here. Keep up with your friends. A4. You move over there. And then A2. Sticks close as well. Then we have to have sniper that stands in the open, but first we need our engineers to stick close. Stay close. We could move over there, but that might actually trigger something. So let's not. Let's I'm not. On the move. Okay. Next engineer moves on here. My way. And the sniper gets low cover over here, right? On the move. On the move. There you go. Moving to Overwatch. Oh, it doesn't even show me where the meld is. Come on. Alright, do we need to move up? Well, if the UFO is here, I want to fight them from up here. But I can't get all shifts up there at the moment. Alrighty, let's move up. Okay. And the other shift can go here, maybe. Alrighty. Avoiding a detection on the upper level for now. That's my goal. So move up here. This shift. And the last shift, A4. Moves here. Nice. 
Now the NG can take their position between the shivs. Or is that a good idea? I don't think that's a good idea though. Heading Let's just follow location. them up. Without getting cover. That's fine. On my way. But I want the sniper up there. This. That's that's a given. Alright, so with that. Moving to Overwatch. We used our turn. Alright, yeah, there are some floaters that? there in this direction. And melt in this direction. Uh, in the UFO, I guess, or somewhere in front of it. So let's use this shift here to get some detection going on. Alright, still no enemies. Interesting. A2. Stay close. Something going on down here? No? Okay. What's... Oh, that's a fire. Okay. I thought something was blinking red or something. <laughs> um, sniper could take this low cover over here. Or... Okay, or low cover is fine, I think. Aye, aye, Commander. There you go. Sniper in position for now. So that shiv sticks close to the other shivs. Right, A3. You guys best work in in a team. Nice. Slowly but surely, we are inching towards the UFO with everyone. Okay, Moving keep up, out. engineers. There is no other no good other cover here, so hide behind the shivs. For now. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, everyone on Overwatch and the sniper gets uh, to steady their weapon. Mm hmm. Move up, A1. Still no context. What the hell is going on? Nothing, nothing in this town came up. And bothered us. That's interesting. Okay, how far can you go? Move over here. Still no contacts. And a four moves up here. Okay. Engineers. I don't want you in, in the way, that, because we have to move over here now with the shivs next turn. If I play you, place you here, they have to drive around you, so let's not do this. I'm rolling. Okay, that was good. You move over here, seems safe. And you... No cover over there. Okay. Move there. Alrighty. So, sniper gets the steady weapon, and everyone else Overwatch. Aye, aye. Oh, I didn't initiate the uh, I don't think we're alone the out here. ammunition project. God damn it, Jordy. Alrighty. So I think uh, we are about to see enemies soon so i will leave that uh, for, as a cliffhanger for the next video thank you for watching so far and i hope i see you in the next episode bye <laughs>